Hello, I am Seamus Dunhua of Eve University, and this is a demonstration of the Vexor Cruiser that I put together in the video uh, Introduction to Fitting. Now, the agent here in station uh, wants me to find and destroy the murderer and his guards and then report back. And this is going to be in the Udendar solar system, one jump out from heck. Now, I already looked up this mission ahead of time, and according to the mission, the damage dealt is going to be electromagnetic, electromagnetic, explosive, and kinetic. They're throwing three different damage types at me. That said, the cruisers are reported to fire saber-tooth uh, electromagnetic missiles. And uh, let's see, reading the comments. Uh, Yeah. Uh, so according to one of the comments, all the missiles are electromagnetic, so that might be the highest source of enemy damage against me. So, when I go to fit my ship... Let's see, everything except thermal. Uh, so let me get rid of the thermic and kinetic hardeners. Since they will be throwing explosive damage at me, I need to patch that hole. Alright, so I'll have at least some explosive resistance, and since a lot of the incoming damage will be electromagnetic. I'm going with an EM and an explosive hardener. An odd combination, but hopefully it'll work for this mission. Uh, everything else stays the same. Uh, I don't think these enemies are vulnerable, particularly vulnerable to explosives, so I'm just sticking with my Galente drones. So, I'm going to accept the mission and undock. Now the Vexor that I put together is only using Tech 1 equipment. Now granted, I have quite a lot of skill points, so that does provide me some uh, additional bonus. That does provide some additional benefit, uh, just from the fact that I'm a high skill point player. Warp drive active. My skills in the drones category, for example, allow my drones to deal more damage than they would for a new player, despite the fact that they are just Tech 1 drones. So, I'm going to warp to zero warp in the dark gate. And now that I'm in space, I can actually turn on my hardeners. Alright, so 55% explosive and 75% electromagnetic resistance. Uh, I'm going to right-click my group of hobgoblin, f of five hobgoblin ones. I'm going to assign them as light galente. I'm going to shift left-click this first drone. I'm sorry, left-click the first drone, shift left-click the last drone, right-click. I will move these into combined arms. Alright. Right-click the gate and jump. Let me get my selected item box somewhere more convenient. I normally play at a higher resolution. Hold on, right click, murderer brought to justice, encounter, warp to location within zero. Actually, let me cancel that. Uh, I am going to warp to location within 100 kilometers, since this doesn't have an acceleration gate. The way you can tell. The way you can tell is that there's nothing in here about ship restrictions. So there's no acceleration gate. You can warp to the mission at whatever distance you like. Let me turn on the hardeners. That frigate is the target. Alright, you know what? I am quite distant. I can warp to an object. Actually, I don't know if this is a dead space or not. Uh, it is not a dead space. If it were a dead space, it'd say encounter dead space. So, let's see. On my, I have a separate uh, tab for large collidable uh, objects, large collidable structures. You could warp to a large collidable object that's at 150 kilometers or more. 
And that sign, what is that sign for? I'll figure it out later. All right. I can warp to the sign at 50 kilometers, now that I know what's going on here. Double checking the range. I have an optimal of 20 kilometers, a fall off of 11, so I can hit things reasonably out to maybe 32 or 33 kilometers. I have Scout Drone Operation Level 5, Electronic Warfare Air Drone Interfacing Level 4, so I have a drone control range of... about 57 kilometers. Let me launch my drones. Hang on. Right, my shields didn't like that, but thankfully, my shields don't have to. I'm just sending my drones to deal with the frigate, and it's the frigate who's the mission target. And my hobgoblin ones are starting to chew up that frigate. And it's in firing range, so I'm going to bring my ship to a full stop. Alright, I'm going to pull back my drones. Reload. If I want to, I can destroy those cruisers. I think I'll do that. So I'm going to send my combined arms group against that thing. And I am also moving away from them. Actually, I can outrun them. My radial velocity is pretty good. I, play, I usually play at a resolution of 1920 by 1200. Dropping it down to 1600 by 1000 makes my window layout a little bit weird. But my drones are chewing up that rogue pirate escort. With... That's just the shield alarm. I'm an armor tanking ship. With the proper tactics, you can reduce the amount of damage that you take. So they haven't even taken down my shields yet. My armor tanking modules don't have anything to do. All right, so with the proper tactics, the proper setup, you will be just fine. And I am going to approach those wrecks. And I'm going to bookmark this as a future safe spot. I'm going to salvage these wrecks and then turn in the mission. But this suffices as a demonstration of how to set up a mission ship. Thank you for watching.